I uh, wanted to talk about Muhammad Faiz winning the Puskas Award. First of all, great achievement, unbelievable achievement. Now, there's been a lot of issues about him not speaking properly. Now, I can get not appreciating the fact that he won a football award. Like, if you're not a UFC fan, you're probably not going to appreciate McGregor knocking out Aldo in 13 seconds. Or if you're not a romance fan, you probably don't appreciate um, the notebook or whatever. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Puskas Award is, it's named after Frank Puskas, Real Madrid Hungarian legend. And it's not a joke award. This is an award for goal of the year. And people have won it in the past, include Neymar, Ronaldo, Ibrahimovic, uh, Rodriguez, Hamis Rodriguez. And it's, it's a great award to win. But for Malaysians, apparently it's not so much winning the award, but embarrassing Malaysians on the international stage. And I just don't see where we're coming from. Would, would it have been nice if he had been more prepared? Yes. Would it have been better if the FAM, before all of this, took him aside, you know, told him, hey man, come on, uh, you're winning this award. If we wrote this speech for you, let's probably rehearse it a little bit, you know. Would it have been better? Of course it would have. But that's the point here. He didn't go to an international stage to public speak, to do public speaking. He went because he represented Malaysia in a footballing capacity and he's done so to a team. He scored an absolute world-class goal and people are concerned about how he spoke. Now I can guarantee you nobody cared how he spoke. The only people who are talking about how bad his English was are Malaysians and maybe Singaporeans. But I can tell you everyone else in the world is talking about how he scored an unbelievable goal. Nobody's talking about the speech. So there's no embarrassment. Only you, only people who have this sense of elitism and on a high horse just thinking oh, here, here we have another Malaysian speaking bad English Ugh. like come on man he's just he's made the country proud for once we have a Malaysian well not for once but at least we have another Malaysian who has made the country proud so in hindsight yes could you have been better prepared of course but that's, like I said, it's not the point. Just be happy for the guy. And the only person with valid criticism about this is the Crown Prince of Johor. When he said, nah, it's a good goal, but you know, don't get carried away with it. It's just a Malaysian league. But that's valid criticism because it's in a footballing capacity, which is what this guy did. But to talk about his English and you know, his dressing, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Football is a game that has always um, prided itself in transcending racial barriers. You could take 22 people, you could take 22 people from different countries who don't speak the same language at all, put them in a field, put a ball in the middle, and they'll know what, they'll know what to do. They'll just know what to do. That's what football is about. It's a great scene in the series, uh, the British series, Minor Language. These two guys from, I think it's Italian and Spanish, they couldn't communicate. And one guy said, well, how are you going to talk to the other guy? Uh, you guys don't speak English or whatever. And they start saying, we don't need to speak English to communicate with each other. And they just start saying footballers' names, Pele, Maradona, Puskas, you know. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is, for once, could we be happy? Could we be just happy? That someone has done something good instead of immediately looking at the bad I mean in two or three weeks time if someone were to say well looking at him and then going well maybe there's something that can be done for future stuff for future international events maybe you can train people or maybe there's an underlying problem with the education system with regards to English and whatnot yes yes of course but not not now. For now, let's just be happy. Let the guy be happy.
All right. Now, I haven't fact checked everything. I haven't read every article about it. This is just my perception of the situation. What about you guys? What do you guys? What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments or just you know ignore it. I don't care. We won the Puskas Award. Malaysia is in history books. Congratulations.